Hi everyone, this is Tanya the Lady Strange. Welcome to day 23 of 31 Days of Strange already. I don't know where the hell the time's going, but it's going. We're approaching someone and the veil's getting very thin. Um, the weather here is hopefully staying a bit more favorable. Uh, this is my preference. I love this type of fall weather. Um, but yes. So this is going to be just me showing another book I got from the witchy coined the witchy estate sale i went to in last year in 2023 and this was another find now this book has seen better days and probably a lot of history so be very careful when i show this um because it part of it is falling apart preferably the cover the interior however the pages themselves are actually in very excellent condition no rips or tears or anything just yellowed from age um and of course sitting in there and the person that owned that estate or home i believe had a witchy store I didn't meet you know anyone it was just a estate group running it um and there was literally hundreds of books and the decks and all random sorts of odds and ends this person must have been a hoard or two on top of owning a store um, there was huge barns full of books and things were in dilapidated condition. Some were in excellent condition. Many things were first editions like literature and things, but have seen better days, better experiences, and were in horrible conditions. But who knows the story behind it, the back, full backstory, or how they came to be in that condition, or where she acquired from them, or even her story. Um, but... If these books and those walls could talk, I'm sure there would be lots of great stories, interesting and very strange experiences, and probably witchy and occult experiences and paranormal and all in between. My cup of tea, obviously. Hello, I'm the Lady Strange. So this is going to be a book. This book, I believe I found it in it, but I'm not going to like go digging for it because I don't want to destroy this. This is more of my collector's type of thing. I love collecting all things from the occult, of course, witchcraft, paranormal, uh, horror, or macabre, and they're playing out strange. Things that have existed long before I came in to be, at least in this vessel. Maybe I was around when it was around in a previous life. Who knows? Um, but I love things that have a story, have seen different things, and are old, worn, and torn, and probably been touched and handled and moved through different hands, different areas, different travels, or meant different things to people, or maybe just laid around. But it's just things from the past to look onto. Things of the different stories, the value, what we can learn and apply to our experience and gnosis, especially as someone who is fascinated by the occult and the obtaining of knowledge and wisdom and growth. And of course, divination and witchcraft. Yes, my fa many of my favorite things married and think two things, just like these 31 days of strange have shown different facets of my experience and what I like. So this was a great find. As I said, I found literally probably 20, 25 different things there and dirt cheap <laughs> for what I knew they were worth. And what they were are already to me in my collection just for the value and be not just monetarily what they're worth, but that there are some of them are rare and some of them I already use for different values and places in my, in my, not just for a collection, but actually in my path working in my magic and practice and study. So yes, a win-win. So this is to get onto the book. I believe this is from somewhere between 1895 to early 1900s. So yes. Now, I don't know if I found this or my cousin found it when he went and he was um, visiting from where he lives currently. Either way, it's in my possession and wonderful. Who can say that they own a book that's in fairly, it's again, for the condition where it came from, is in what I consider a very favorable condition. I am happy to have this in my collection. And with that being said, it is called The Old Witch's Dream Dream Book of For Fortune Teller. So look at this gem. See, as you can see, that's why I said I got to kind of handle this very carefully. The cover from the front and back is there, but it's falling apart. 
I don't know if I'm going to tape it or not. I kind of keep it in a bag um, because I don't want the moisture. My house does have a lot of humidity to keep it safe. And I don't really handle this. As again, it's more for the collector's value of that. So this actually has, and it's falling apart, but yeah. As you can see, it's kind of falling apart, but that's the front cover and the inside. This looks like, I don't know what type of company, again, it, the lighting in this room sucks. It just says the Sunset Series, number 73. So I do got to eventually do some more study on this, as I do have to let, add to my extensive list of studies and things I have to get the backstories of history and that I have on my studying list and my subject list. As I said, a mile long and just keeps growing. But when you have a thirst of knowledge, especially cult knowledge, and you're a practitioner, can never have enough wisdom or knowledge or to apply the knowledge and experience and gnosis to your own. It always helps to expand, expand your horizons. So this has great things in it, like, um, just to show you the reference. As I said, look at the interior. Not bad at all um, for the age of this book. This has everything from the traditional meanings of like dream dictionary into it. For example, the lighting I said in my witchy room is awful, but it's got things like, um, let me see. Oh, here's one that's fun. I just happened to open up to. Gotta love bibliomancy, huh? I use a lot of bibliomancy just randomly. Spirits have and books and things have great things to give great weird and random messages at times and applicable messages too of value. But I open up to, of course, and of course I would. This would be, it says it is, I just lost it now. Where did it go to? Demon. And it says, see devil. Hmm. So it's referring to look up the word devil. Quite interesting. Again, let's see. Should be within the similar page. Oh, here we go. If I can read this properly in the light. The fading light in here. So just bear with me and my randomness. But that is, for example... Here, I'm going to try to hold it up instead, and then you can pause and read. If I don't actually take the part book apart, it is on the right side here. If you want to pause and zoom in, I know that's probably not the most favorable, but yes. So, demon is likened to devil in this, and it's got actually a good paragraph for that, too. And then it's got all sorts of keywords and paragraphs on them, like um, itching to dream of itching, uh, denotes, denotes speedy, let's see. Oh, just speedy faults. Hmm, how oh, that's quite interesting. Yeah, whatever that's meant to be. It's got the word Jew in it. Yeah. Well, again, you got to look at the times and the time period of when this is written and the person's experience. But there's all sorts of things. It looks like it's more like a lot of it is like of a dream dictionary things. And if you dream of this, they notes, you know, for example, things like an old fortune telling or gypsy fortune telling like bad luck um, that you will meet your future spouse, your future lover. Um, you're going something you're going to um, ill illness or misfortune is going to befall you or someone you love. Um, you will be facing danger, things like that. But it is quite an interesting and fun gem. This is going to definitely be something I'm going to be looking at and maybe putting used to 
with obviously very much care in the use of it and how often I use it. But I think it might be an interesting fun for div divination and bibliomancy and just to embrace something that is well over 120 years old. I mean, really, it's such an amazing thing. And to see how things and time and how different language and things have evolved even in the course of 100, 120 years and how the different symbols and dream symbols and divination have changed from each person and each person's gnosis and spin that they have placed on it and how that has evolved as we have evolved as people and our experiences as a collective have evolved since that writer and how since that was published into words. But this is another gem in my collection. Maybe someday I will show more of it and explain more of it. Again, these are just little random snippets and things from my strange and fun collection, my occult collection, and just my overall collection on what makes Tanya Tanya and my love of the strange and the unusual. So I hope this finds you all well. And if you are a collector of like I am of literature, of the occult literature, occult science, you're a practitioner, you appreciate old vintage items, you go to estate sales or anything in between, I would love to hear about it please comment below and or if you've ever seen anything like this or have anything of this like in your collection or you're into divination. With that, um, please comment, like, and subscribe as I said as it helps my channel grow. I, uh, I as I do with others, I appreciate you watching and follow me on this day at 31 Days of Strange for the month of October and again stay strange and blessed be.